Today we're going to show you 10 proven tips on how to save battery life in iOS 7. First what you want to do is go to settings, then go to general, then go to background app refresh and you can turn all of it off or individually. As you can see here, just by downloading a lot of applications, I have background app refresh on a lot of them. What this is doing is it's currently collecting data whenever these apps are in the background. Well, if you want to turn these off, just toggle the individual switches or you can turn background app refresh off in general. What this will do is it'll turn off all the background app refresh for all of these applications and save you a lot of battery. Next up, you want to access your control center just by swiping up. You're going to disable Bluetooth if you don't need it. And then also you want to disable AirDrop. You're going to go to AirDrop and turn it off. Now that way you don't have AirDrop on wherever you go. You can always turn it on if you really need to use it, but it's not going to be wasting battery in the background. Also, if you're not using Bluetooth and you have it on, that's currently looking for devices to connect to Bluetooth and that's wasting battery as well. Next up, you also want to make sure that you turn down your brightness somewhere in the middle. If you have it cranked all the way up, it doesn't make it that much brighter, but it does waste a lot of battery if you have it more bright than it actually needs to be. I like to set it somewhere around the middle. The 3D motion for icons is really cool, but it wastes a lot of battery. To disable that, go into Settings, General, Accessibility, and then go down to Reduce Motion and you're going to turn it on. What this is going to do is make it so that your icons don't move when you tilt your device. Same thing with the lock screen, it's not going to move the background around and that's going to save you a lot of battery in the long run. You can always decide to turn it back on if you're showing off your phone or something like that or you want to put it back on, but if you really want to save battery, I definitely recommend turning off that feature. Notification Center uses a lot of battery. Go into Settings, Notification Center, you can scroll down. Now if you have all these apps like I do and they all are connected to Notification Center, that's not that good. So say you didn't want CNN to give you notifications. First you can choose none for the alert style. You can turn off the badge icon, sounds, show in Notification Center, which will make sure it doesn't show up in the Notification Center, and show on lock screen. That's going to save you battery because if you didn't do that, every time it has a new notification, you're going to be using battery, fetching all that data. Now also, if you don't use stocks, what you might want to do is disable stocks in Notification Center because if you don't want to actually see the stocks, you're just going to be wasting battery uh, having iOS 7 check the stocks every once in a while or every time you go into Notification Center. One way to save battery is to turn off location services for specific apps. Go into Settings, scroll down to Privacy, go to Location Services, and now you can specifically turn it off for everything or you can turn it off for individual apps. As you can see here, I've only turned on location services for apps that are essential. If I have it on for like Chrome or something like that, I might want to turn that off. I don't recommend turning the whole thing off, I just recommend making most of them not accept location services. Also, scroll down to the bottom and if you go to system services, you can turn off um, any of these certain system services that there are. So, for instance, location-based iAds, that's just going to search your location every time it wants to pop up an ad. That's definitely going to use a lot of battery, but not a lot of people know to disable it in system services. Those are a couple more ways that I recommend to save battery. And finally, the way that most people know, uh, but I'm still going to talk about it, close multitask apps. Scroll over here, just delete all of these apps by swiping up just like that and that's going to save you some extra battery as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of the best tips on how to save battery for iOS 7. If you have any additional tips I didn't mention in this video, let us know in the comments section below. Also be sure to subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and watch my video on the best hidden features in iOS 7. Once again, I'm Alex from AppFind. I'll see you guys later. Bye.